Welcome to another episode of Exciting Math with Mrs. Gwynn! Today, we are learning about combining like terms. And, as you've already noticed, I'm not there. But make sure that you're paying attention to the video because Mrs. Sly is going to be keeping track of who is able to answer questions and who is not. And I could call on any one of you at any time, so make sure that you are paying attention. Um, you should have your notes in front of you, the combining like terms. It should have oranges and marshmallows at the top. And you should have already watched a video of me adding marshmallows and oranges together in the same bag. And hopefully you also noticed that the oranges stayed oranges and the marshmallows stayed marshmallows. Okay. Now, at the beginning of that experiment, I initially put in three oranges and two marshmallows in the bag. Then I closed the bag up. When I opened it, of course, there were still three oranges and two marshmallows in the bag. Then I added one orange and six marshmallows into the bag. And when I opened that up, that gave me a total of, of course, four oranges and eight marshmallows altogether. And hopefully you're able to see that the oranges and the marshmallows continue to stay, stay separate even though they're in the same bag. So hopefully you're able to see that. Okay, well, let's move on. Now, in algebra, we consider, we have this phrase or vocabulary word called like terms, and basically that means that they, there are terms that have the same exact variable with the same power. Um, go ahead and write that down in your notes in the like terms box, and you can pause the video until everyone's ready to go. Okay, let me give you some examples of like terms terms that have the exact same variable with the same power. Now remember when we're looking at an expression like 3x plus 2 plus mm, 6y? Remember the terms are the things separated by some sort of operation sign. So 3x is a term, 2 is a term, and 6y is a term. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that, but just as a quick reminder. Okay, so if we're looking at terms that have the exact same variable with the same power, let's take a look at things like 3x. Um, a like term to that would be 2x, or 10x, or 15x. Let's see, Hannah, can you give me another like term that has the same variable? Okay, hopefully uh, Mrs. Sly was able to decide if that was right or wrong. Since I'm not there, I obviously can't write it down. Um, but as long as it had just an x in it, not x squared or xy, then we're talking about a like term. Now I could also have something like 10y squared. So any other term that has the variable y squared taken to the same power. So 3y squared or just y squared. Um, if I really wanted to throw crazy things out there, I could put in a negative 6y squared. Again, it's the variable that determines whether it is a like term or not. Now, you can also have like terms with constants. So if I just have 9 and 3 and 2, since all of these do not have a variable, then they're also like terms. Um, let me quickly erase that. Uh, let's look at a non-example of a like term. So if I have 3x, uh, 4y is obviously not a like term. 3y is not a like term to 3x. Even 10x squared is not a like term to x because the x is taken to a different power. Now let's take a look at the phrase combine like terms. Now you'll remember from about three weeks ago with our vocabulary and spelling that anytime we see this prefix, C-O-M, it means that something is going to or together. So if we're combining like terms, we're trying to put different terms that are similar together. So let me give you an example. So if I have the expression 3x plus 2y plus 6x plus 9y. First, I want to take a look at the terms that I have. So I have one term here, 
a second term here, my third term here, and my fourth term here. Now I'm going to ask Stephen to give me some terms that are similar. What are some variables that are repeated in this expression here? Okay, so we have the x term. There are two terms that contain just an x. So our x terms are 3x and 6x. Hang on, let me... Don't want to do that. So 3x and 6x. And then my y terms are 2y and 9y. I'm going to color code these here, and I'm actually going to have you get out some sort of highlighter or crayon. Um, you're going to need probably three or four different colors. And I'm going to color code based off of my terms. All of my X terms I'm going to underline in red, and all of my Y terms I'm going to underline in this light blue. Now to combine them, I'm going to find all of the like terms and put them into just one term that's a little more simple. So if I'm looking here, I have 3x and 6x, and if I think of my x's as kind of like oranges, if I have 3 oranges and 6 oranges, well of course that's 9 oranges or 9x altogether. And if I'm looking at 2y and 9y, 2y plus 9y, that's really like 11y. So if I'm combining like terms, I'm combining the x's to make just one x term of 9x, and my y's to combine just one term of y's of 11y. So my new expression would be 9x plus 11y. Let's jump back up to the oranges and marshmallows. Um, you'll see this under the let's write this in as as an expression option on your notes. And what I'm first going to do, let me switch the color back here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give each the oranges and the marshmallows a variable to represent it. So for oranges, I'm going to use the letter O. Don't get that confused with zero. And for marshmallows, I'm going to use the letter M. Now, at the beginning, when I first added three oranges, if I can fast forward here, three oranges, that's like saying I added 3O to 2M, those two marshmallows. Now, I haven't taken anything out of the bag, as you saw in the video, and then I added one more orange, and six more marshmallows. So my question is how many oranges were there all together and how many marshmallows were there all together? And you know that oranges and marshmallows are clearly not the same thing so we have to give an answer using oh there were so many oranges and so many marshmallows we can't just say oh there were uh, 12 orange mallows because those don't exist. So let's take a look at how many oranges we have. So we have three oranges here and one orange here. So that's a total of four oranges. And you can go ahead and write this down on your notes. And that's added to two marshmallows plus six marshmallows, which is really eight marshmallows. So my final expression, my simplified expression, after I've combined like terms, would be 4O plus 8M. Let's do this first example together. This is going to go in your example number one section of your notes. So go ahead and write down this. 4x plus 2y squared plus 3x plus y squared. And you can pause the video if you need to. Okay. And I'm going to call on Sabra to tell me some like terms that I'm seeing here. And if you could give me all of the like terms, that would be great. So we have an x term, and we also have a y squared term. We see this x term show up twice, and this y squared term show up twice. 
and I'm going to color code again all of my x terms I'm going to put a yellow box around and all of my y squared terms I'm going to put a blue box around so here's my x terms and here's my y squared terms and then let's add the stuff that has the same color like terms things that are similar together so my x terms they're both in yellow boxes I have four x's and three x's if we add those together that's seven x's and if we add the y squared terms together we have two y squared plus just y squared so that's one y squared which would give me three y squared so that would be my final answer or final expression after I've combined like terms. Let's take a look at this example number two and I'll do this one with you again and then the next two you'll be on your own for. Now I'm taking a look here I have two plus three x squared plus four plus one plus six x squared plus two x. What type of terms do I have? I'm going to need three different colors here. So I see that I have an x squared term. I'll keep all of my x squared terms the same color. And as I keep going, I see I have another x squared term. So I'll put that in the same color. Let's put all of our x terms in another color. Because remember, x and x squared are different because they're raised to different powers. So I have a 4x, and I see a 2x over here. And I'm also seeing some constants, things without variables. But since they both don't have variables, they're alike as well. Okay, so let's start combining things. Let's start with my x squared terms. I have 3x squareds plus 6x squareds, so that's a total of 9x squared. Let's move on to my x terms. I have 4x's plus 2x's for a total of 6x's. And then just my constants, I have a 2 plus a 1 which gives me 3. So my final expression after combining like terms is 9x squared plus 6x plus 3. This is your example number 3. I'd like you to copy down this expression 3x squared plus 4y plus 3 plus 2y plus 1 plus x squared. Pause the video and try to combine like terms and then press play when you're ready. Okay. Remember, I'm going to highlight all of my terms that are similar in the same color. So I see x squared terms here and an x squared term here. I see a y term here and a y term here. And I see two constants, the 3 and the 1. So let's start with my x squared terms. I have a 3x squared and then an x squared without a coefficient. So I know the coefficient is technically just 1. So that's 4x squared. My y terms, I have 4y plus 2y, so that's a total of 6y's. And my constants, I have a 3 plus a 1, which gives me 4. So my final expression, after combining like terms, should be 4x squared plus 6y plus 4. And go ahead and try this one again. Pause the video, press play when you're ready. The expression is 6a plus c plus c plus c plus 2a plus b. And remember, our final expression should be in alphabetical order. Okay, so let's put all of our A terms together and our B terms together. Notice there's only one B term here. And let's put our C terms together. And in this case, there happens to be three. So of my A terms, I have six A's plus two A's that for a total of eight A's. And I'm going to be going in alphabetical order here. So I'm going to look at my B terms. There's only one, so it stays just B. And for my C terms, there are three of them, and each of them has a value of, has a coefficient of 1. So 1C plus 1C plus 1C would give me a total of 3C. So my final expression should be 8A plus B plus 3C. All right, good luck today. Make sure that you're on good behavior. Have fun, be good, good luck, and let me know if you have any questions.